In the last episode, we talked about substance dynamic textures, and how they will totally change the appearance and functionality of any materials you use in iClone. In that video, you also got a quick glance at the prototype version of the UI we're working on, which is what this video is all about. The revolutionary new iClone QT user interface is now able to adapt to your working behavior and visual preference. There are a number of preset layout templates that provide you with a smoother workflow during the various stages of your creation process. Animation mode is streamlined for when you're creating and editing motion. The VFX layout allows you easy access to all the tools used in tuning the environment. And cinematic mode? Well, see for yourself. The new QT UI design lets you drag, dock, and combine your various work panels to any area of the screen, which allows for the quickest workflow in any circumstance. You can then save your custom UI layout for future use. An iClone user's creative process relies heavily on quick and easy access to a rich library of content. The new UI can be customized to help keep things organized in levels, according to your own personal preferences, in order to quickly find the categories and specific content you're looking for. The only disadvantage to having a larger content library is that it gets more difficult to find specific items. Thankfully, there's now a progressive search field that allows you to find what you're looking for in a flash. The one thing about previous versions of iClone was that in order to assemble certain characters or themed scenes, you would have to go into tons of different folders to find content such as materials, accessories, and motions, all to apply to the same character. The pack view will take a huge weight off your shoulders and allow you to streamline scene creation workflows with props, characters, and accessories that are included in the same content packs, regardless of content type. It also helps you keep track of how much you've bought. This also goes for cloth bases and related materials. Previously, you need to go through a rather muddled process to apply new styles to your characters. If you have a library of hundreds of bases and materials, this can be a real challenge. To make this process easier, now you can right-click on any item in the Content Manager and immediately find all of its related base or derivative content that's in your library, making the customization process even faster. To take things further, you can create your own customized virtual folders as well and place all content related to certain projects in the same place for easy access later. If you're going to make a tutorial like me, this makes it super easy to have all your stuff in one place. It's a common thing to upgrade and change the main computer you use to work on your stuff, but luckily the new UI will detect all the content that's registered to your account but not yet installed. The new content manager will also provide you easy and quick access to the newest and hottest content in the marketplace and content store, so you can keep updated on the best new content and access it more conveniently than ever. The previous workflow for applying materials to props involved right click and drag into the scene view. Now you can apply different texture maps directly to the thumbnails, allowing you to skip a couple steps. We've also included a couple of handy timeline enhancements as well. By holding Alt and left clicking on the timeline, you can now navigate both up and across your timeline instead of trying to click on the small slider bars. Also, if you can't see part of your timeline that you'd like, you can hold Ctrl and scroll your mouse wheel to zoom in and out. And now for the big reveal, the new GUI design. Here are a few examples of some ideas we've been playing around with. Which one do you like? Leave your comments in the comment section below. And that's it for this episode, stay tuned for the next cool update.